All right, welcome back. Uh, but now we're doing the Black Current Compromise uh, from Dodge City Brewing. 4.7%, 18 IBU, so it's going to be a low bitter one. Uh, this is our late night compromise with 84 pounds of Black Current Puree. Uh, purple with a lingering creamy pink head. Flavors are hints of passion fruit, dark berries with subtle earthy quality. I will say with 84 pounds of Black Current, when you do your, uh, what was it we did, the, uh, the tender foot pineapple V2, yeah. yeah. Do the same thing with the pineapple. Just throw it in there. YOLO. You only live once, right? <laughs> throw it in there. I know. I wish they would put more pineapple in there. I think pineapple is one of those flavors that's hard to get to come out. Well, I will say they get these things at the brim. Steven. Because just like other pineapple stuff me and Steven's had before, it doesn't Steven. seem to come out real good. Okay. Hey, look at the color. I was about to say, that looks like wine. Yeah. It looks like vape tricks. Mom, yeah. li Mom liked this one, if I remember correctly. It smells almost like a candy, like I, a I think y'all like will. a laffy taffy. Did it say anything about raspberry? Not just black currant. Black currant? Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't pin black currant as being sour. Mm -mm. More I, of a bitter. The candy. smell and everything reminds me more of a raspberry. Or a cranberry. I think you boys will be yeah. surprised yeah. on this one. Alright. Cheers. Very smooth. Um, kind of light in flavor. Yeah, you know? that does sound too but it's got a crispness to it. There's several different flavors in there that I pick up. But, um, and to me, you know, it's my taste buds. You're still getting it. If you wait a minute, don't take another drink. You'll still get them. Oh, that's kind of... What do you, what do you think about it? Yeah. To me, it was very interesting when I drank it. Because to me, it almost had a fruit juice yeah. flavor mix. You know, almost like a, a child's uh, juice box. Juice box. Like yeah. a flavored sparkled water. There you go. Yeah. Flavored spark sparkling water. But it leaves a very pleasant aftertaste in your mouth. <clears throat> We're trying to be professional, about to kill you. But yet you can. It's almost like you can pick up some pineapple or maybe a little grape juice in it. And I'm getting the crispness, like from a sparkling water type deal flavored. It reminds me almost like real light. Like those, almost like those hard seltzers, but they don't, it doesn't have that. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Like it, but doesn't have that nasty After grain Ugh. alcohol flavor. More like those uh, truly type deals. Yeah, but yeah. better. Krista, what do you think of it? Yeah. It's a little light for me. That's mm -hmm. that's nice. my deal of it. It seems too. I don't want to say it, but it seems watered down. After seeing yeah. the color and the, everything else, yeah, and the I smell. was expecting to get a big heavy hit. Of the fruity flavor, yeah. zest. It's like I was a shake. Because you have to, you have to search for it. Yeah, it's, almost like it's real wine. smooth and light. It's yeah. almost like a sweet wine with some carbonation to it. I was gonna say that's what I was gonna say. It's definitely not like a sour ale. I really like the fruity, but it's super. Delicious. I just don't like how you have to mm -hmm. search. For well, it just says it just says fruit beer. It almost so. yeah. I'm not really getting the strong fruitness to it. It's more mm -hmm. flavored sparkling water type deal. Yeah. Where you got the light flavor and you get the carbonation, but yeah, I think it, it's not bad though. I like it. It's good. It's just, I just real light on flavor. For that's me. what I'm saying. Yeah. I think it'd be better with that punch. That hey, here's your flavor instead of having. But it's still pretty good beer. But it's still yeah, yeah it's smooth. Uh, yeah, we'll what's, start, the, we'll start. what's the alcohol percent on that? Oh, Six, it's probably four something four, five four, something four point seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I never nailed that right there. <laughs> four something five something. Yeah, I guess I'll start. Uh. For what it is, and seeing the color and the smell and everything, I'm gonna have to say that. All right, Travis. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna give it. Yes, mm -hmm. Jesse. Your mom is coming on the screen. What is it technically considered? A fruit beer. A fruit beer. Just fruit beer yeah. with eighty something pounds of. Um, 84 pounds of black current puree. Right. I'm giving them a 10 because I think what they're calling out and what, you know, calling it a fruit beer and what they're saying it is there, I, I mean, I think it matches their description of what they're saying. What'd you do, Jesse? I gave it a 7. 7. I did 6.5. It's just too, too, too light. Well, it is, yeah. yeah. I mean, I fruit can see beer. It. I expect to pop a flavor. Really be getting that strong fruit flavor. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of there, but it's so subtle that it's too light for me when I look at a fruit beer. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, whenever I look at a fruit beer, I picture like a. It didn't taste basket. better. It didn't taste like good. They just put it all together. But and compared to fruit to beers I've had, right? And y'all done a lot more of these than I have, you know. And that's, you know, I just. 
I mean, for their description of it, I think it's it goes along with their description. Yeah. Just too light for I, I guarantee you, if this is what everybody's seeing at the brewery and they see 84 pounds and they think, and they this is the first beer they get, they're going to be let down. But then they're going to go over here to this tenderfoot pineapple sour, see 25 pounds, and just say, no, I'm not going to mess yeah. with it. When I did get pineapple, but on this, it's it's grape esque in a way. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not getting the just bitterness of a. a well, I mean, honestly, black currant is somewhat bitter, and I'm not getting any of that. Mm -hmm. So. No, it wasn't bitter. Good, at all. easy, smooth drink. It'd be just good, not what I'd expect. Summertime drink. Yeah. yeah, I was about to say go out to the lake or something like that and just. Well, that was the four beers that I got from Dodge City Brewing. Yeah. They have eleven total on tap, but I just uh, I wasn't going. I had to pick. Some. Yeah, I had to pick. My ice chest <laughs> is full with yeah. beers. Can. <laughs> all right, so uh, Dodge City overall, you did really, really good on your beers. Yes. Uh, I'd, I'd like to make it up there eventually sometime and. And, and taste them. So, yeah, that was really. They open at five o'clock every evening. That was my favorite, though. All right, so Larry, that that grandpa good overall stuff. good job. Cooks a little. Yeah. Hell, that was good. We'll be seeing. You. Yeah. That'd be good with some. And Stephen, if you go up there, you got to try the eighteen seventy two. Because I ain't joking. If I go up there, that'd be good with some pecan pie. That old, that old the L. L. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Or some peach cobbler. 